Hi, I would like to share you share with you some scriptures. Um, first um, scripture I want to share with you is in uh, in the Gospel of John, um, chapter fourteen, verses um, one to six. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that wh where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not where, whither you go, and how can we know the way? And Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father but by me. And um, second bit of scripture is from the book of Acts, um, chapter 4. Um, I'm going to start with verse 1. Um, and as he spoke unto the people, the priest, and the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon him, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead, and they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now eventide. Howbeit many of them w which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their um, rulers and elders and scribes, and Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? And Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, You rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all, and un and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand before, stand here before you call. This is the stone which is set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now, um, those scriptures right there are pointing to the um, to the exclusivity of uh, of um, Jesus Christ being the um, being the only way to uh, God the Father and the only the only name by which men can be saved, um, which ten which tends to um, raise up red flags among people who who. Um, are of other religions, or I mean, people basically hate hate the fact that um, that G, that God has set up this one way to to Him through His only begotten Son Jesus Christ, and um, this um, ex exclusivity. Um, I mean. I mean, constantly um, challenged and debated. Um, so, some people say that Jesus is only one of the ways um, to to God. I mean, that all roads will lead to God. Um, however, um, Jesus made it clear: um, you can't come to the Father except through me, and. Um, that's what he said, and um, we we should basically take take it to heart and um, not not try to um, challenge it, but to simply accept it. And um, I mean, if let's let's face it, if um, Jesus w wasn't the only way, that there there are other ways that that people can reach God then Jesus would end up being the only wrong way to um to God the Father. I mean I mean his death, burial and resurrection from the dead would um would avail nothing f 
to us. I mean, and that's pretty much all I really have to share with you this morning. And uh, I hope I hope you have a good day, and God bless you.